The Paycheck Protection Program, or PPP, is a part of the historic Federal CARES Act. It's designed to provide a direct incentive for small businesses to keep their workers on payroll during the economic downturn. But the nearly $350 billion set aside for the PPP was exhausted last week. New this morning, Washington lawmakers are moving to reload the PPP with an additional $310 billion. And it could have come at a better time for North Dakota's farmers and ranchers. In the next few weeks is going to be one of the more labor-intensive times uh, for both crops and livestock. Burley County Ag and Natural Resource Agent Tyler Kralichek says North Dakota's farmers and ranchers need to keep their employees paid and operations going right now. Just making sure that uh, we have those, those different processes, planting, spraying, um, you know, turning calves out to pasture, making sure that those, uh, those livestock or different uh, entities of livestock are in the right position to set them up for uh, that next stage is going to be crucial here in the next few weeks. Congressman Kelly Armstrong is working with fellow lawmakers to keep North Dakota's ag industry going through the pandemic. It's incredibly important for our supply chain for food all across the country. It's a national security issue and it's a way of life in North Dakota. Senator Kevin Kramer worked with North Dakota banks before the CARES Act was signed to prepare those banks for an influx of PPP loan applications from small businesses, including farmers and ranchers. The the result of that has been over one and a half billion dollars loaned to over 11,000 businesses in North Dakota out of that first tranche. So um, uh, most of the, by the way, community banks. There is already a backlog of PPP applications in North Dakota. Applications sitting in limbo because the first batch of funding ran out. But Kramer recommends farmers and ranchers who have not done so yet to not wait for federal funding. They should apply right away. Um, I would say uh, if you haven't started the process with your banker or you haven't gone online and gotten the form, it's a simple two-page application form, do it today. Get started so that you're in the queue and ahead of the curve. The Small Business Association will forgive PPP loans if all employees are kept on the payroll for eight weeks and if the money is also used for payroll, rent, mortgage, interest or utilities.